I'm telling you, guys, there's a lot of money spent. I don't want y'all adding it up and judging me. So no judging because... <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm gonna be doing my Sephora summer sale haul, plus a few other places like Beautylish, Colourpop, Menagerie Cosmetics, and Ulta. I have literally had my Menagerie Cosmetics, Colourpop, and Ulta box sitting here for like a month because I was like, I'm gonna do a collective haul. I ordered this stuff over the span of a month or so, something like that. And then the Sephora sale came and I did a poll on my community tab and people said they wanted a collective haul instead of just two different haul videos. I actually have an, another Sephora order coming in tomorrow, but I didn't want to wait because that was only two things. I got the vitamin C serum from Drunk Elephant and the Belief like True Cream or something like that. So I don't have those with me today. <laughs> but this is probably going to be a long video because I have a lot of stuff, which I don't buy that much makeup anymore, but... um. You know, we might say different this month because it got a little crazy. So if you're excited for the video, give it a thumbs up and let's get right into it. Okay, so I placed two separate orders at Sephora because I wanted more samples and they did not give me one of the samples that I picked out of the four that I got to choose from. Like they just gave me random samples. I tweeted this the other day. Why does Sephora even give you the option to choose? They should just throw random shit in there because they never, never give you what you want. At least anymore. They used to, but I don't ever get what I want anymore. And then they give me the wrong skin tone too. So I'm gonna go through the samples really quick. I'm gonna do my Sephora orders first because I think more people are interested in that right now. So the first sample I got is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. It comes with the little primer and four of these and none of these are my shade So I really have no use for this I could work with this one if I like put fake tan on so, you know Maybe one day when I have fake tan I'll try this foundation out But I never really was interested in buying it because I don't want that full of coverage. It looks thick to me The next little sample that I got is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Sea Collagen Super Serum Didn't want this either. Never heard of it either but I got it. I asked for like, I believe it was like Kevin Aquan and it was like the liquid highlighter that he has in, I asked for it in both orders in hopes to at least get it in one and Sephora did not deliver. <laughs> then I got the Kate Somerville salicylic, salicylic, salicylic? whatever, acid, acne stuff. I mean, that might be useful for me. And then I got a little sample of Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in the medium shade. I was like, how am I gonna do my whole body with this? But apparently you drop this in like a bottle of lotion or like your hand of lotion. So, you know, I might try this out. I haven't self tanned in a while, but I have been known to like self tanning every now and then. Okay, now let's get into the real stuff that I actually ordered. Fenty Beauty had a new foundation come out, the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I got mine in the shade 120. I do have the soft matte foundation in the shade 150, but it always oxidizes or dries down too dark. So I was like, I'm getting this in 120 because it is the next shade down that is a neutral undertone. And her shades seem to run really yellow, like a lot of them. Like the warm shades are like real warm, but I'm excited to try this because I've been eyeballing it ever since I saw that they were gonna release it. So yeah, I will be doing a take five on this in the near future, but you know, I need five days to test it out at least. I haven't even opened it. The next item that I got is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I got the $15 like deluxe sample size, I guess. I'm calling it a sample size because this is how small it is for $15. I think I could have just spent like the $25 or $30 on it. I think it's double and got the full size because this is a joke. Honestly, I expected it to be a little bit bigger than this for $15 freaking dollars. I feel like the sample that I got a few months ago was about this size. And that's pretty disappointing. I might actually go and um, return this, but I hate returning items because they're gonna throw this away even though I never used it. Like, I hate that. So I don't know. I kind of want to return it and just pay the extra few dollars for the full size. Because this isn't even half an ounce. It's like 0.33 ounces. 
Up next, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Very Victoria. I hear so much about this and it looks like a nice kind of taupe color. And I hear a lot of like really good reviews about these lipsticks and I've seen a few people wearing it and it looks really good on a lot of people and skin tones. It's a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be and a little bit more pink. But when I swatch it, it looks a little, it looks a lot lighter on my hand when I swatch it so it's pretty nice it's a little warm it's a little warm if i don't like it i'm sorry i hate that they just throw the stuff away but if i don't like it i mean it's a 25 dollars lipstick i might exchange it for one of those new just revealed on trend mood natasha denona nude lipsticks because some of those look nice and taupey Mm, I kind of want one of those to come out in a few days. I recently ran out of my Jack Black lip balm, so I got another one. I got the shade, the shade flavor, black tea and blackberry. If you have looked for a lip balm that is really, really good and not shiny, just a lip balm, this is a great one. I have like four or five shades. They're $8, so they're a little pricey, but my last one lasts me like six months to a year, so they last a really long time. It has SPF 25, and it is super moisturizing. It's, it's not as moisturizing as the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but it's really good for a daytime, like reapplication re type of thing. It will last probably about two to three hours, and your lips will feel nice and moisturized, so I do really enjoy this product and it's like my third tube i really like it next is the huda beauty tan tour contour and bronzer in the shade fair funny thing is i actually ordered it in the shade medium by accident and i was so annoyed because i knew i just needed to go exchange it but i know they threw it away Ugh, it just bothers me i don't even know how i accidentally ordered medium like in what world would i get a medium bronzer never but i have been wanting to dabble more in cream bronzers because my skin is a lot better now and I just feel like if you have bad skin, cream products are difficult to work with. At least in my opinion, I feel like they are. I think powder products are easier because I feel like with acne, it makes my skin look muddy when I would use cream products. So I'm excited to try this. I saw mixed reviews on it, so we'll see how I like it. Um, also, someone did mention in my comments that they wanted a like um, like a full face with my new hauled items. I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I am gonna do that video. So to the person that commented that, that is coming out my next video, I think my next. In the same week that this video comes out, that is coming out, I promise. Obviously not all of these items, cause I can't use everything. <laughs> but I will mention most of my items, how I like it. I always do a what the haul video, like a few months after a haul also with mini reviews on each item. Next is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I got the mini one for $25. I just wanted to test it out and see if I liked it. I hear so many good things about it and I had been wanting to try it for a while. So I was like, why not when I can get like five bucks off of it or whatever, you know, 20%. So got that mask. I also had heard a lot of good things about the Kiehl's Ultra facial moisturizer. Who did I hear about this from? I cannot remember who mentioned this. Oh, it was someone, but they said it's, this is like a great, great moisturizer. And I have had it in my cart for like a few months and I just was like, I'll get it now. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than this cause this was 30 bucks. It is almost, it's 4.2 ounces. So, you know, you probably don't need that much either. It's just for your face. So we'll see how I like it. I'm really into like moisturizers lately for my skin. I really enjoy moisturizing at night. I used to only use oil, but I've been using moisturizers. So wanted to try this little baby out. Next, I got the new Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Powder because for months, months, I have been wanting an illuminating setting powder, but it seems like a lot of people don't make them. And the only one that I saw was the Laura Mercier. It really was like a glowy setting powder, but it looked too dark for my skin. This one looks a little bit lighter, so I had to scoop that up because I have just been wanting glowy skin lately. I don't really enjoy super, super mattified skin. I just want not even like super wet looking skin. I just want luminous. And I love, oh my God, I love the illuminating setting spray, which is like the spray version of this so if that is if this is as good as that then we'll be good and i'll probably be purchasing more of this in the future i recently watched a video with samantha ravindall and she you know she's like the cream queen the dewy cream the light coverage yet covering acne at the same time queen so i really appreciate her videos because sometimes i want light coverage and cover up my acne scars and my acne and all this stuff but she did use the milk makeup matte bronzer it's like a stick bronzer 
and she really seemed to like it and I was like you know what I want to try that and I really have only tried like two or three things from milk makeup like the um, the hydro grip primer and then I believe like one other stick primer I've tried I didn't really like the stick primer this looked really nice on her skin I wanted to try it, it just looked like it glit glid on <laughs> glid on like it glided on so easily so I'm excited to try this out so since it was a sale and I'm almost out of both I repurchased both of my ordinary staples I used the buffet with copper peptides 1% and this is $28 it's one of the more pricey things that the ordinary carries so getting that 20% off was nice and then the, the ordinary 100% cold pressed rosehip seed oil love this stuff if you have like acne scarring not the acne scarring that is um you know like dips in your face like you see all that's kind of like rough right there it doesn't fix that but it does fix it does help like lighten the redness and stuff like that so acne scars that have left marks it will really help really well with that it helps with redness a lot and it's a great moisturizer it's good for acne prone skin in general it won't break you out most likely don't want to say that for everyone but it's pretty good for acne prone skin and then the other day when i went to exchange the huda beauty tan tour I had been eyeing the gloss balm in diamond milk for a while, but I just never pulled the trigger because when I'm online, I'm like, I'll just move that to my loves, move it back because I don't need that today. But I was there and it was the first thing at the door. I swatched it on my hand and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna get it. And with the sale, it was only like $15. So that was kind of nice. I did actually test it out and try it. And I really, really like it. I have pretty pigmented lips, like really reddish pink. And I don't, I don't like it. I don't think it looks good. It's very like contrasting to my natural skin tone. And I like this because it is, it's like a clear gloss with like white and silver sparkle in it. So it dulls down the redness while also just looking like a clear gloss. I really like it. So if you have very pigmented lips and you're like fair skin tone like me, it will just kind of like take away some of the color of your lips. So I really like it from what I have tried so far. Um, I never really liked the Fenty Glow because it just enhanced the redness of my lips because that is like a pink toned lip gloss and when I saw this I just really wanted it so i'm pretty glad that i got it and last but not least of my sephora haul i was watching Britt clark's live stream where she was talking about what she recommends and everything like that and just like she convinced me i got the tatcha dewy skin cream i literally added it to my cart while she was talking and i think that night is when the sale started at like two in the morning where i live i think three in the morning where she lived we both stayed up pretty late for the sale. I think she actually works night shift though. I think she mentioned that. But I was like, added to cart and I did. So I'm gonna try this out and I'm pretty excited because I like doing this and she said it was really great and a beautiful product. So I'm excited. Next, we're gonna get into the Ulta haul. Um, I got a few things. I think it's mostly drugstore in here, mostly. So we'll get into the little testers first. The Milani highly rated, oh, I thought it, they were just saying it's highly rated, the highly rated mascara. So I got a little mascara sampler, which is good. I don't use that much mascara, mostly on my lower lashes. So, you know, I don't really like buying mascara. Next is the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. It's just a little mask tester. Always love a good mask. And then, oh, oh yeah. I got like a little gift with my order and it was a bunch of little samples of mascaras. So I got a little sampler of her version from Urban Decay. Um, BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash. Ooh, a better than sex. Love better than sex. That's great mascara. Buxom Lash Mascara. And ooh, bad, bad Gal Bang. I'm excited to try this. I have never tried it. Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged. I think that's the last one. I don't see another one. But I did actually buy a mascara off the recommendation of the Taylor and it is the essence lash princess her lashes look really good when she uses this because sometimes you just want like nice lashes without freaking falsies on and i've used this a few times actually i've just kept it in the box but i i do like it i like it i've used it a few times um maybe like two or three times so i can't really say if i love it but it works pretty well off of those like few little first impressions oh thank god i did buy a new eyebrow pencil um, I heard Robbie to Christy talking about this a few times. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow 
micro fine and fine and i got in the shade soft brown she said that this is like super fine a nice like brow pencil and i have been needing a new one ordered stuff from ColourPop, and i love their brow pencils but i completely forgot to add any of those to my order so i think i ordered that with this you know next i got this elf brush it's called the ultimate blending brush it is like a dome shaped brush right there i don't know it was like three dollars i think and i was just i was like why not so it just looks like a nice uh brush that i might use for foundation mm, it might feel a little not stiff enough we'll try it out got it for foundation we'll see how i like it elf has nice soft brushes for like really affordable prices so if you want brushes elf has some pretty good ones i repurchased the catrice prime fine dewy glow fixing spray love this stuff if you want an illuminating setting spray get this one it's like seven to nine dollars six to nine dollars it's under ten dollars and it's amazing it's amazing, it gives you such a nice, just like a beautiful glow. Forget the Tatcha dewy skin glow, forget even the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. This is better than both because it's cheaper and it looks just as good. I had been wanting to try the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas for a while, so I went and got this. Didn't get the white shade, that looked a little too stark white for me, but I did get the fair shade, <laughs> Illustrate, so. We'll see how that goes. It's probably just concealer basically, but we shall see. And then I got another Morphe setting spray. I ran out of my other one like a few weeks ago and I just have been missing it. Ran out of this a few weeks ago and I've really missed it because it honestly, it has the best nozzle of any setting spray I've ever used, ever, ever, ever. It's not the best formula. It doesn't mess up your makeup, but it really just feels like a nice refreshing splash of water doesn't do anything revolutionary maybe they'll come out with a dewy one one day who knows but if you just want like a nice like kiss of mist on your face this is your guy i'm telling you guys there's a lot of money spent i don't want y'all adding it up and judging me so no judging because <laughs> We're not done, okay? Next is Beautylish, and I just have to say that Beautylish, their packaging is impeccable, and every business, every single business out there could take a note. Like, honestly, this is what it comes with, and you just, like, oh, it's just, it's beautiful. This paper is gorgeous, and then, like, I already opened it a few days ago, but, like, it was all packaged, and they come in their own little paper bags, and it's just it's so nice. You feel like you actually are getting your money's worth. So I got the full size of the Hourglass Veil setting powder. Now, let me tell you, I have the miniature size and Hourglass, if you're watching this, please do something about the miniature because I have a little montage in my last video of me literally tapping a million freaking times because you can't get anything out of it. You can't get anything out of it. It sucks. So I like the powder. <laughs> I just hate the packaging. So I just got the full one because I've been wanting it for a while. And yeah, um, it wasn't on sale, I don't think. Beautylish did have a sale. They did start a sale the same day, I believe, or maybe a day before the Sephora summer sale started. And let me tell you, their sale sucks ass, okay? They say like, oh, you can get up to 50% off of select items. And it's like five items i feel i had like four hundred dollars worth of stuff in my cart and not one not one of the things was on sale there's an issue with that there is an issue with that so i think i remove some of the things but i definitely use their little payment plan where you can split it up and do a few payments because yeah I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Jackie Ina palette because I really wanted it. I think the colors are unique. I like the shimmers a lot. I think they're really pretty looking and I just wanted to get it here instead of Sephora because I could break the payment up a little bit. Next I got the, I think this is new, maybe not, the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation SPF 15. I have been getting more and more into light coverage foundation, so I'm really excited to try this. It's glowy. I think it's light coverage. Got a little extra SPF, even though you always need to wear an SPF underneath your foundation because it's not good enough if you just use SPF in your foundation. But um, yeah, I got the shade 10. 10? Sure, it ain't 01. I think they only have like five shades. I really think they have like five shades because they're super sheer. But we'll see, we'll see. I will do a uh, take five on this too. They gave me like a little sample. Ugh. 
They give good samples at Beautylish. Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I got the Natasha Denona Large Super Glow. I have the little miniature blush and glow, I believe. And I just love, love that highlighter. It is so freaking good. It's beautiful. It gives like a wet look. And I'm just like, I need something that I can really dip my brush into. So I got the giant one. I got it in the lightest shade, the shade fair. And I'm so excited to use this. Like I freaking love this highlighter. Natasha Denona shadows, they're hit or miss. My opinion and my humble opinion, but I like all of her other products that I've tried so far. So um she like i said earlier that she has those new lipsticks coming out and they're only 25 each so it's not too bad it's a little pricey for a lipstick but it's not like tom ford prices but i definitely uh want to test those out next i got the holly hollywood <laughs> the charlotte tilbury hollywood contour wand in the shade i don't know it doesn't say on the outside but i know it was the lightest shade so i got this i saw what did i see use this i can't remember i saw a youtuber use it and i was like i really want to try that so i got it let me see what it looks like i've seen a few youtubers but there was one who i saw using i was just like girl i want that okay it doesn't you can't you can't you can't see the shade at all and i'm not going to squeeze it out right now oh fair to medium so i think they have only two shades fair to medium and then like medium to deep i also got the anastasia dip brow gel i heard a lot of good things about it i really don't even know like what you're supposed to do with this are you supposed to fill in your brows and then use this as a brow gel or are you supposed to just use this on its own if you know let me know in the comments below i mean i'm gonna look it up but i still don't know but i hear good things about it so i was like i want to try that out another charlotte tilbury item i got the airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder in the lightest shade i thought this was much bigger i'm pretty sure jacqueline hill used this in um one of her videos and i swear it was like a giant pan but maybe i'm going crazy like i really thought it was bigger Ugh, her packaging is gorgeous like i just I, I don't know it's really pretty not that packaging matters but honestly i thought it was a lot bigger than this like i really did yes nice and pale just like me finally freaking powders aren't orange you know we've come a long way i know we're not all the way there yet because some brands are not inclusive enough but i feel like we're making strides I feel like everyone can find their shade at some brand somewhere nowadays and the internet makes it so much more accessible. I remember this little tangent, being in high school and the lightest shade was always orange on me and I literally just thought like, well, guess that was what foundation's supposed to look like. You're supposed to look like a freaking Oompa Loompa, but I was wrong. We were all misguided. And last for my uh, Beautylish, I got the Ambient Lighting Powder from Hourglass in the shade, I know it's the lightest one, in Ethereal Light. It's like the, they have, a, they have two like really light ones and one is kind of golden i feel and this one is a little bit more on the like white side and i got that because anytime i use something that is a little more on the golden side it just looks too dark on me light so i i have this candle glow sheer perfecting powder from laura mercier and this is the lightest shade one and do you see how like peachy that is it looks like it wouldn't be that big of a deal but it ends up looking too dark on me and i want to compare these two so like you see how much darker that is this like always darkens my foundation it doesn't look crazy or anything because it's pretty sheer but it always makes my foundation a shade or two darker than it actually is so i wanted to get this and i have the lighting edit or whatever and i really like the face powders in it for like all over the face so i definitely wanted to get this because they're just beautiful products and um psa do not ever buy one of these don't be duped into it do not do not just don't it's eighty dollars and you get total the total thing not per pan you get point zero four ounces point zero four ounces in this this one alone which was like thirty to forty dollars you get point three five ounces i mean come on point zero four versus point three five for half the price yeah i'm super excited to try all these items like i'm think i'm most excited about my hourglass and charlotte tilbury stuff because oh and my uh jackie ina palette i'm super excited about that i don't think i'm gonna do a review but i will be doing like a tutorial look with it and i'll give you my thoughts on it because everyone and their mom has already done a review maybe not actually heard a lot of the big youtubers haven't really done reviews on it because they're a little shady 
ColourPop. Oh my God, I forgot JD Glow 2 is in here. When I keep ordering so much, my bank account is sitting there going, Oh Lord, again, a fucking again. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Same old fucking shit. We're gonna just do the JD Glow really quick. I got a JD Glow highlighter in the shade Cold As Ice. Um, I think I saw someone like swatch this and whoo, it is like, it blinds even in the pan. I'll swatch this. So that is what it looks like. Ooh, they have a bunch of shades. So if you have deeper skin tone, like don't worry, they have more than this icy shade right here. But I thought that was really pretty. And then I got some of their galaxy shadows because I always want the Pat McGrath, like her pretty metallic colors and sparkle shimmer colors, but I don't wanna buy the palettes because they're expensive. So I just have them in this ColourPop palette right here. And it's not these two, it's these right here. I got this blue one in the shade Watermark from the Galaxy Collection. I'll swatch them. So that right there is, ooh, that right there is watermark, super pretty. I feel like that would be really pretty with like over like black eyeshadow, like a nice smoky eye. Then I got the shade Bora Bora. This is also a galaxy shadow. That's that like blue right next to it. They're all blue. I don't know what, I just was like blue, blue, blue. And then I got Anomaly. It is another galaxy shadow. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's like a purpley blue color. And then lastly, I got, expected it to be bigger. This was like $15, but it's like a, one of those crazy duo chromes where you just get all kinds of colors. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. This is the shade Seaweed, $15. It's kind of crazy. But once I swatch it, I'm hoping it will show. So that's it right there. It's like this green. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's showing on camera. I don't think it is, but it turns green and like dark purple, blue. It's super pretty. So those are the things that I got from JD Glow. Okay, now color. I got a bunch more of the freaking cre gel cream eyeliners because I love the ones that I have. So I got some more fun colors. I got the shade Swerve and I will swatch these because I don't even remember what colors I got because it was so long ago. Okay, that's not a fun color. That looks like black. Wow, they changed the packaging. I guess I got black. Okay, it's just black, so I don't really need to swatch black, do I? Then I got the shade Zulu, which I know is a fun color. Oh, I kind of like the new packaging because you can see the whole color on it. It's like a light minty looking green. Ooh, I do like the new packaging because then you can just kind of see what it is on the old packaging. They only had the color on the little tip, so you had to look through all the white eyeliners to find the one you want. Next, I have the shade Prance. Prance, which is like a light baby blue. I just love these eyeliners so much. They're so creamy and they just glide on nicely. And I feel like they accentuate a look really, really well. Exit, which is the white. I don't really have any white eyeliners like that. I got the Just My Luck palette. It's like they're all green one because I just feel like brown and green together on my eyes look really good. It is like the only one of the they're all one color palettes that I have gotten. Next, I got a lippy pencil. I don't really like lip pencils, but I think that I saw this one. I was like, that actually looks like it might be my skin color. I got the shade As If. Usually they're too pinky. So we'll see about this one. Pretty light, but I think it'll work for me. Can't really see it, it's this little bitty thing right there. But I got two of these glosses in the shade Starburst. I don't know why I got two. I think they were on sale for like $3. I don't know how much I like the formula. It's a little chunky and like I hate the applicator. It smells good. It smells like freaking butterscotch. Ooh. So that gloss, it's like a white kind of gloss, but it has like a, purple and yellow and greenish bluish glitters in it but i feel like it is a little chunky and you can see the glitter a little too much but i think they were only three dollars so i'm not that regretful i next got one of their so juicy lip glosses in the shade partly rowdy this is kind of like a peachy color you know it really it reminds me of the fenty glow color that's the shade of it. It looks like Fenty Glow a lot. It's a little bit icier than the Fenty Glow. I think that's why I like it more. I've tried this. I just, I wore it a few times, but I put it back in the package in the bag because I like to keep it all there until I do my uh, haul. Yeah, that is a little bit more icy, I think, than the Fenty Glow. 
but I do like it and they are minty. And then I got three Luxe lipsticks. I got the shade Belle. I really wanted the shade Ariel, but it ended up selling out and that was a um, like limited edition because that was a very like taupey looking brown. It. and then I got Belle and it turns out it's pretty pink looking so I don't know how much I'll wear this it's pretty pink pinky red I don't know how much I'll wear it but you know I got it then I got the shade California love and this is a Lux lipstick I think all of these are a little darker than I thought they were gonna that's California love it's a little more orange and dark you know that's a nice fall color I just never like shades like that on me but sometimes I try to get out of my shell and just just wear it you know if you never wear anything new, you'll never start liking it you know then I got the shade still crazy which is real pink really pink it's that top color right there so I don't really know how much I love all of these shades but they're like eight or nine dollars so I don't feel too bad about it <sighs> Okay, we have finally made it to the last box. Please don't go to these websites and add this up. Okay, I'm insane. I'm insane, okay? This is Menagerie Cosmetics, which I've mentioned quite a few times. They had a, I think they had like a 20% off sale or something like that, a lipstick sale, they had something. And they were also like taking a break. So I did get five lipsticks. I got, I, oh, I keep repurchasing the shade, hoping, hoping that it will end up looking like my original one, but this is just a little more gray than this, their new formula. So this is the shade Darian. It's a little closer. It's so, it's more brown. It's still more brown. It makes me so sad. I have like five of these now. <laughs> Maybe I'll learn to love brown. Maybe it'll dry more like it. I don't know. This is my favorite lip color if you don't know, if you've never seen my channel. Menagerie Cosmetics used to be Makeup Monsters and they had my favorite lip color. They switched and changed names and everything. And um, this is supposed to be the same color, but I still love their products. They are a great quality product. The next shade I got is Juniper. I had always wanted, they have a lot of uh, lipstick shades that are different from the usual shades you have. So I got this, which is like a army green. Won't wear it a lot, but you know, when I want a green lip, I got a nice one with a great formula. Their liquid lipstick formula is my favorite. I think it's one of the best out there. That is the shade Juniper. Juniper? Yes, because they also have a green Gator. This is Juniper. It's a little more like evergreeny Christmas tree-ish. The next shade is Starfish. I think this is like a bright fuchsia one, potentially. Ooh, it's like a purple. That's more wearable. I don't know if it's more wearable. <laughs> next I have the shade Gator. Oh wow, I got both of the greens. I do not remember getting both of the greens. What the heck? Whoops. <laughs> so this is more of an olive green. So I'll show you next to each other. This one is Gator and this one is Juniper. I'll swatch Gator right below Juniper. I mean, if you wore one on one day and one the next day, no one would tell the difference. But that's what they both look like. This one is Gator and that one is Juniper. Then I have one more shade in the shade Alpha. I think this is like a deep gray. Ooh, no, it's like a purple. It's like a dark, dark, deep purpley gray color. That, ooh, I love that. That's so pretty. Last thing, is this the last thing? It is. The very last thing that I got is the Feral palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. I got this because it is their most neutral palette and I love shadow formula. It's so good. Their mattes are so good. If you want mattes of the quality of Natasha Denona, these are it. Also, their shimmers are really good too. They're actually really creamy. I would say their shadows are like Natasha Denona. They may not have the same shades, but better than Natasha Denona because one, they're cheaper, like way cheaper. They're just as creamy, just as pigmented, just as like sparkly, but they don't fade. For me, Natasha Denona shadows, they last like four hours, but these, they work great. So this is what the Feral palette looks like. And that is the inside right. So this is their more neutral palette. It's the most neutral that they have. As you can see, it's not totally that neutral, but I really like the colors. They're different. They have some neutrals. They have some colors. I will swatch some of these. I'm going to swatch this Huchera. Huchera. Ooh, it's like a such a pretty green. Okay, so here is the shade Huchera. Wow, that was actually a really good swatch. I 
barely touched. All of it seemed to come off of my finger. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. And now one of the mattes, I'm gonna do the shade Alum. See, that one didn't swatch very well, but y'all know how purples are. <laughs> you know, their mattes don't swatch very well. That's crazy, but they work super well on the eye. Like, I have the Whale Song palette and I will put my review up above yeah these swatch terrible but they work really good with a brush like i promise <laughs> go watch my whale song review video because i love their shadows i haven't tried this palette yet though so i can't really speak for how they work but whale song palette is beautiful okay well that was a super long video if you made it to the end put the lipstick emoji down below so i can know if you're a real one <laughs> i thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below if you got anything from the sephora summer sale and i will see you in the next one bye